And welcome back. We got map two for this southern aggression here. And it is an Anderson's counterattack. 234 on the server pop, 116 on the attacking CSA, and 118 on the Union defending. And let's take a look at these two teams here real quick. So it looks like we've got the 42nd, and it's they actually have a gun here with Manus. Interesting. And the 42nd's come in by Captain Hood and Lieutenant Kilroy. And we've got the MWB under Willie Stone. We've got Colonel Paradox leading the 9th Corps. We've got the NYV led by Lieutenant Parker. We've got the 19th Indiana led by Captain Modelhart. The 4th West Virginia led by Lieutenant Light, uh, Colonel Lightburn, not Lieutenant. Oh, good Lord, I demoted him. And I believe that is it. Uh, we're live at 43, by the way, but I'll be able to catch the uh, CSA as they're moving up. So they have on their team HL led by Cadet Alex. KB led by Colonel Knight. 8th Alabama led by not my name Ryder. We've got... MSG led by Colonel Spartan, PB led by Legion, 79th led by Ricks. Let's see, the WS, and then we've got the 1st VA led by Sergeant Connor, and the AB led by Lieutenant Mathers. I believe that's everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. Off we go. See the Union spreading out here. Oh, the Union is actually sending up a pretty far forward defense here with um, 9th Corps and 42nd. Hey, 42nd, right. Address the left. Hey! Yep, yep, yep. And a sneak volley by the 42nd. Nailing this lead element here in the form of HL. And they are drawing a lot of fire. Oh, they are making them pay for this little maneuver here. But I think it was all to buy time for this man back here. Try to get these guns back in this direction. I would have pulled it up this road here, to be honest with you. I don't know why they're pulling it up this road. I think that's a mistake. But, now we've got... Uh, 40 seconds trying to defend on the guns here. You still have a Union element out here. Who's out here? The 9th Corps is still trying to harass and uh, delay the uh, CSA as best they can. Get the MWB watching this far corner over here. And again, trying to delay them, I think, as best they can. They kind of spread out the CSA and not let them uh, get in concentrated force. Still trying to get these guns back here. Hood is trying to give enough time to Mattis and his guys to get these guns back here up online. I am very surprised, though, they took this angle of them and they did not go up this road over in this direction here. But uh, I know this is kind of the default strategy that you bring the gun up here, but um, I've always found it's very hard to hold the woods. But uh, we'll see. So they got the guns in place. Can they get the caissons up in time? So 
So far, the CSA is happy to shoot it out. I'm kind of surprised they're not pushing more. There's not a lot of Union in front of them. Um, it's actually fairly spread out here. I'll be back over See them starting to curve up here. Again, that's why I don't like the guns there. Hey, try to pop those gunners out there as best you can. Let's we'll right see, now we got some movement. The CSA is getting a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say patient, but it's starting to push up like they need to pressure on the Union. If they're going to be this spread out, then press the attack. A little, right little, right little, little, little bit right here, boys. Come here, a little bit right here, boys. I can see him right there. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep, I see him. So Ignite's going to try to tangle with Ninth Corps oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. and MWB. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the cannon started going off here. Unfortunately, was not paying enough attention to the shot. Well, they succeeded in getting the caissons back. And Hood's delaying action has succeeded, and he managed to do it without losing too many men. But oh boy, here comes Knight. And they are putting in a punishing volley there. As 40 second tries to hold it, but I don't, I don't know if this already trick is going to work I'm here for them. Right now. <laughs> Not based on where they put the cannons at. You can see, now the CSA controls the side of the field. You can't use the cannons. You had to keep them, you know, further up in an angle that you can hold. The CSA also took this side of the field here. It was a nice idea, but I, I don't know what it really yielded. Are they charging you or no? Yep. Now they've got Overwatch on the cannons, and now they're silent. And now you've got the CSA pressing forward here. The Union lost about half the morale state, a little bit less. Uh, you know, not a bad delay, but again, it, it didn't really get them anything. has lost pretty much the entire field now. You even got Ricks out here plinking away at, uh, who's this over here, MWB. And they're boxed in now. And you have to figure a way out of it. Easy 
Looks like 40 seconds going to try to charge out this rock position. Um, I kind of like this move. I spread the field a little bit. And you just sit there, you're just going to delay the inevitable. Try to fight out, get another angle here. And in fact, there's not a lot on this side of the field here. The rest of the Union, now that you've got a secure position here with a 42nd, the rest of the Union can kind of rotate out here to these other strong points. Like, for example, take out Ricks on those rocks. Maybe rotate some units out here and try to spread the field a little bit. But um, I don't think fighting in the woods here is going to work out. I don't mind this spot by 9th floor. Listen, I, 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 I get it's called, but they still hand out multiplication tables. <laughs> No, you're not surrounded. Hood, Hood kind of gave you an opening. Okay, yeah, I missed this charge. Another good charge by Hood against the uh, 79th here. Again, I, I, I rotate some more of these units out here. Because now you've, you've had to sacrifice that center position in order to take this position. And it, it would have been nice to take both. I mean, I would have left 79th up there to draw fire and maybe the 4th West Virginia too. But, you know, some of these other units like MWB, 19th Indiana, NYV, they're great on the attack. They're great on the maneuver. You know, come out here, spread the field, make it make it a bit of a danger out here. You know, maybe sneak an arty guy back here and turn the cannon on him up on top of the hill, you know. But, uh, yeah, if you just let the enemy just get you in a box and just keep you there. It's not going to work. If these guys are still already, they, when they die, they oh, need yeah. to switch back because they're not getting their cannons back. Unless they do that flanking maneuver, like I said, like you kind of come back around through these woods. The couple already guys sees on the caissons, get some uh, case, you know, some case, some uh, canister, and just rip it. Oh, yep, Hood is doing it, but again, I, I... See, now here's the problem. Here comes PB. There's nothing to restrain PB. So if you only have one element doing this, they're going to be uh, flanked here. And again, I think you have assets. You don't need everything back here. You got, like, you know, maybe two units, I think, does enough to uh, keep the uh, CSA at least a little bit restrained here. See, who's rotating out here? Okay, MWB's rotating out. I think this is a good move here. It, it, it took a little bit too long, though, because now you see there's nothing restraining Knight's movement out here. And he's got 1st Virginia with him as well, and he is going to slam into, first, into the 42nd here and just slaughter them here. As many as I thought, but maybe uh, first VA will finish up. Oh, here comes Legion. So yeah, you just kind of caught the, you know, all these guys here. Thankfully, you had a couple of units rotate out. But um, yeah, if you kind of reacted with a little bit more, it would have been successful. Now, if these guys are not going to do nothing. Now's the time to. Uh, this is a tough line to beat here too, though. Yeah, this, you need to thin this out more than before you can attack with the amount the Union's got. About even. But again, at least you spread the field now. And again, if you had a unit on those rocks, maybe you could have, uh, you know, held them for a little bit. A little good job by MWB to rotate out to give some cover to the 42nd as they retrograded. Let's see who's coming out here now. Here comes Park with the NYV. Spread the field, you know, maybe occupy those rocks too. Um, maybe Why try to shoot a, a unit out there. Still 
Still, the Union's only at battle ready at 28-30. That's not horrible. Um, the problem is they've given up the field as is the main problem. Yeah, see, again, you don't need too much to maintain contact with these elements. I'd say two units, ninth corps, maybe one other, maybe, you know, is sufficient to do it. And then try to shape the rest of the field, you know, maybe even just sneak out, you know, try to get a unit out to this position out here. And maybe even try to rotate up and flank them, you know, with a little raid. Um, and same thing for the CSA, you know. Well, actually, the CSA, I think, is in a great position right now. The only thing I want to do with the CSA is pick up the pace on the casualties. But the thing that they can do now is they control the battlefield. So they can send a unit back out to cap anytime they want and stop the clock. So they've got all the initiative. And you can send a unit like WS to do that without any change on the battlefield. You know, without, you know... Occupying these 79th, good job. Free terrain, free real estate. So, if Mattis is still with his gunners here, this is a bit of a problem, I would say. This All is right, way too much wasted West combat West power West right now. You are not North. getting those cannons back. Yeah. Looks like the, uh, friendly... I'm sorry, guys, you're not. Right now, you're just not a gun that's in operation. What'd you just say? I wouldn't keep 19th Indiana here. I'd rotate him out. I bet you could hold this whole thing here with Paradox. And maybe the 4th West Virginia. Yeah, I say Paradox and the 4th West Virginia can hold this side. Keep all these units bottled up here. Are they sending unit out to cap? HL, yep. HL came down to cap. That's going to force the Union to draw out. Although, I would have waited until I got him engaged, just because why well, give that extra timer? Break the base. Don't click on me. I just That's right. You'll come back again. Yeah, that was a little bit too soon on the counterattack. I would have I would have tried to get him down to uh, breaking up, to break, to uh, engaged. Well, here comes, who's this? Who is coming out again, rotating out to the side. Oh, no, he's coming back in. All right. Yeah, besides capping just slightly early, I, I, I don't see any fault in the CSA strategy at the moment. And in fact, the only other criticism I have is you had too much weighted over here. And now they've dinned it out, you know, MSG and 8th Alabama here. I think that's what you need to hold this side down. There's the engage. This should be a little bit more patient. Uh, we got a major attack developing over here. Hood is in the lead. MWB is giving him cover. Is 4th West Virginia 19th Indiana going with him? I would. I'd make this a damn train. And just roll up this side here. I wouldn't stop. I'd leave one covering unit. That's it. Ooh. 42nd got hit hard there. On the KV, but they gave it the best they could back. And I think KV won't be able to hold it. Here comes Hood. Again, though. What, okay, so where's the rest of the Union? All right. 19th Indiana is trying to be in a picket line out here. Actually, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You kind of. I'm going to still put more weight to uh, Hood's attack. As you can see, it ran out of steam here. Even though you got all this combat power over here. Unused. Here comes Lightburn, but now he's, he's a little bit too late. 
CSA still holds the side here when they could have captured that key position on those rocks. If you had a little bit more weight to it. And you had it available. It was here. You know, if 19th Indiana is going to do this, then MWB no longer needs to hold these rocks. You don't need both. You need one or the other. Both are valid. Both are useful. But you don't need both. There we go. And who rotated out here? I bet this is... Let's see. 19th Indiana Moto Hard over there. And here's Parker on these rocks. Now, this is good. I like the positioning of Parker, and I like... Not surprised, nice door. Doing a great job pushing up here. Let's see if Viking can kind of restrain him and make sure that uh, they're not putting too much flanking fire on the CSA. Sixteen minutes left in the counterattack. Good amount of time. Nice position here by HL, Mr. Alex. Overlooking the point here. And you're to use a hard cover. So now, are you close enough that you can actually uh, use those cannons again? Uh, I don't think you are. So here you got this strong point now with 8th Alabama. And over here, it's going to be much harder to punch through this element down. That opportunity is kind of lost. Have we got company B with us here? Yeah. Roger. Stay behind the rocks and cover as much as you can. Here comes 42nd again. Do they have help this time? Looks in the lead. Okay, this time 19th Indiana's going with them. I'd send 4th West Virginia too. Or MWB. Just one element here, that's all you need. Especially that, since you got six New York over there providing cover. Go, 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 go. And going through the woods. Okay, I like this call as well. Using the cover and kind of popping out what you want to. I wouldn't come out here, though. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't stop here. I mean, I like the open order. It's a good formation by Moldohar, but, uh, again, you, you're letting Hood kind of get squeezed here. Look at what look at what's happening to Hood. Oh, Knight saw an opportunity and has squeezed Hood. Oh, and a hell of a pincer attack there, and that is the end of the 42nd. Now you come in, it's too late. Feet in detail. Okay, you're gonna go in now. It's over. And now 19th Indiana is gonna get killed. Now here comes Lightburn, but again, it's too late. If you had this wait earlier, they still might win this fight, but they're not gonna have enough now to wrap up what's over there. And in fact, I'm not even sure they're gonna win this fight. CSA will hold that without too much difficulty. And they've really strengthened up this position here. HL's really acting as kind of the anchor. You see them, boys? You see them? They're shifting left. They're shifting left. Hold your fire. They're going to right there. Right there. Push the bucking ball. South, southeast. Southeast. They're in the field. Take aim. Take aim to this place in the field. Steady. Steady. Independent fire. Independent fire. Independent fire. So Park is going to try to attack the center position here by 8th Alabama. 8th Alabama is going to retreat the friendly lines. I think that's a good call by them. Um, we'll see if Park is disciplined enough to hold here on these rocks. I'm not surprised he is. Rather than come out into the guns of HL, as I think 8th Alabama was hoping to get him to do. But even then... 
you know, you still got to deal with this in the side here. But this is still a very important position here that Parker has taken. Because now you've opened up a little bit more access here. And oh, by the way, nothing needs to stay here now. Parker is now fully doing that covering job. Everything should go. Again, you got a lot of combat power out here, not committed. I don't know why. 19th Indiana. Come on. I'm sorry, man. I don't like it. I'll be honest. I see why you're doing it. Well, you're letting these units get defeated in detail. And even if they win, they're not having enough power to carry the attack forward. You've got a covering unit. You have Parker. If Parker wasn't there, then yes. So, yeah, you know, 40 seconds here, but they're about wiped. You know, and Ricks is going to harass them from behind over here. Union's now one taking losses. You're losing too many tickets. And, oh, by the way, here comes HL and AB now to charge out Parker. So we'll see if uh, 19th Indiana's firing line here can hold it. Nope, they're just going to get knocked out too here. We'll see. Eleven minutes left on the counterattack. Union now on taking losses. And they have resecured that position. And this element out here is now isolated. Now they might be able to sandwich him here between ninth core here. We'll see if Paradox can uh, get in and help sandwich this unit here and reoccupy that center position, which still would not be bad. But, uh, oh no. Okay, here comes 8th Alabama. They saw the problem. They charged in as well. And that is going to close that door. And the Union will be back to square one. Although there is a movement on this other side here, which might be able to get through. Let's see what's going on over here. Who's coming in this way? Nice thing out of swinging in to the MSG. I like this little attack here. I'm trying to find find a find an avenue somewhere. I wouldn't go too far. You're gonna get cut off. HL's leading you to a trap. Oh no. Here's the trap. Brought him into MSG. And all these other units here. And oh, here comes a flanking maneuver by Cadet Alex. Oh, here comes Lightburn, though, in a well timed charge. That might save the leftovers of 19th Indiana here. Thanks to Mr. Lightburn. All right, we'll see if they can hold this position here. Maybe that was the right call for the charge. I, I, I still don't. I don't think without Lightburn, I think 19th Indiana would have been wiped. So it was a good move by Lightburn. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Maybe it was right to carry it forward, trying to put some pressure on the point here and get it back before the CSA can... Uh, it can uh, mass on point again. So, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, violence on the objective was the right call. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, a nice spoiling attack here by, who was this, the NYB. And I think 40 seconds in the mix as well. To try to keep them off a of point. It is now just a general melee. But I don't think it'll be quite enough to hold it. Let's 
see ninth score Paradox coming in. He's still got a breach yet. These guys up here need to get in the fight, even if it's only a couple of you, unless it's the Artie. Is that Artie? That might be the Artie. I'll, have to, I'll look in a second after I watch this fight. Valiant effort here by Paradox, but looks like Knight is going to win it. Yep. Cannons are back online, so that, that is some accomplishment. So if nothing else, they did accomplish that, but that is not going to last too long. We've already got a CSA unit on the move, and I don't see a lot of Union moving up to protect the cannons. Make sure you get your lower sevens. Here comes 8th Alabama. He's going to try to silence these cannons. In silence. Stared at me. Now, these guys have been already this whole time, which I, they might have been. I, I think that's a bad call. I don't think this has been nearly worth it. I didn't even think. Wait, where are you going? You gonna get the shot off? They're gonna get the shot off. Here they come. These guys got the shot off. Took like it a little bit high. No, well, now they got the shot off. But I don't think it was canister. I think it was uh, shell and it just bounced up. Yeah, but they're gonna get chased off here for tickets. Can't really afford to lose. See what the union's thinking next. They got 5:30 left um, on the on the counterattack, and their tickets are starting to uh, go down quite quite a bit. Garrison the Rocks boys, get your kids and get up. Again, a very disciplined, very. Uh, Considered defense here by the CSA, reinforcing, counterattacking when it needs to. But uh, being very patient and not uh, getting overstretched. The Union, not, not some bad ideas, but uh, slow in execution. You're not going to have more numbers in the open field. You're going to have less numbers in the open field. You've got a lot of numbers here. Look at all these numbers you got. But the longer you're in this firefight, the less numbers you're going to have. There you go. You're never going to have as many as you did a minute ago. And that is going to be stay true. And again, you don't have everybody in the charge, though. Looks like a steady hold here by the CSA. And it wasn't even their full units. A lot of these units were dragged off here by, who is this, 6 New York here on this rock position. They dragged, drove off several units here. Again, tickets, I don't think the Union can afford to lose. So the already is nice, nice and flashy, but can't afford to be taking three to nine, to, you know, nine to 15 tickets for skirmishing and out of lines with these already guys. And then not have those guns in the fight when you need to charge in. <laughs> I 
Not on this map, not with this setup. They're in the woods. Not with where the cannons got placed. Push. Again, great interlocking fields of fire here set up by the CSA. Uh, Look, cancel yeah. shot into the 8th Alabama. Doing some damage. Oh, but the NYB came in. Oh, from behind, but oh, there was, oh, first VA is right on their ass. So that is going to end that idea. I would have sent it too, but yeah. Who's this over here? Yeah, ninth core, little out of position. Not able to reach my support. Yeah, 42nd over here, but again, they might be able to still send in a uh, a final uh, push here. I don't think it'll go through, but I, I can't believe they're not sending in the charge. Here it is, the end. I got him on breaking. I didn't have enough men to push him off. Tough map for the Union. Tough map for the Union. Great defense by the CSA. Some nice ideas from the Union. Um, yeah, I get it. They got to gel together a little bit better as a team. And, and It's tough without Steam Chat, though. It really is. Uh, task and purpose. Always ask yourself, what is my task and what is the purpose here? If, you know, if I can't, you know, what am I doing? Okay, and why am I doing it? If the why no longer is valid, it doesn't make sense, stop doing it. Do something else that fulfills a why. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed another fun TSA. I'll be back on tomorrow for HDC. And I will see you all there. I hope. This is Kotel signing off.